I do want to share what the Wow Warrior Award is. The Wow Warrior Award came to be about three years ago, and it was developed to run alongside with Women's History Month. You know, my thought was that while we we tend to highlight all the trailblazers that have gone before us, but a lot of times they are deceased. It's very hard for a woman who is trying to stand up and stand out and feel powerful and, and follow a great example when they're no longer here. And so my thought was, why aren't we honoring women who are crushing it right now, who are really doing the thing to get the thing and who are standing up and standing out as that unrepeatable miracle? Uh, they know themselves, they know their worth, they're not requiring external validation for their self-worth, they know they have value in this world. And so that is actually what was sort of the, the thing that started the WOW Warrior platform to explain WOW, the word WOW actually has two meanings in my world. It originally starts within the Stop Self-Bullying movement that I have been leading, which is war on words warrior, because we are always in the fight with these words that circulate in our head, many times leading into the negative. And so we want to always focus on working to manage those words in our head because our words create our world. And as it evolved into the WOW Warrior platform, WOW, it stands for Woman of Worth. That Woman of Worth has actually managed to, most of the time, no one is perfect, but most of the time, manage that narrative up there. And they've also are secure in the knowledge that they are here to uplift and inspire other women to excel as much as they are excelling as themselves and being purpose-driven themselves. This woman that you guys are going to see, each one of them has been through a lot of challenges, heartaches, tests, temporary defeats, so much more. And it isn't that they haven't been through some stuff, as I like to say. It's been that they've been through this stuff and they've risen like the powerful warrior that they are. And this is where I always like to say, I learned this from a speaker right before this all came to be was... That she asked the audience, do you know the difference between a soldier and a warrior? And I was like, hmm, I never thought about it. But a soldier is taught to fight and a warrior is born to fight. And that's how I knew that that word was. And I had already had that word attached to wow, but it took on a bigger meeting because that language that we fight sometimes in our own head and sometimes that other people try to put on us externally is that wow warrior understands that they have a choice in what goes on up here, but they are always in that fight for their worth. They know their worth. They are not confused about it at all. They know their value and they navigate those self-bullying tendencies like a champion. The other thing that you will find about a wild warrior is that she has surrounded herself with others who will call them on it when she slips, <laughs> as we will because we are not perfect, but they have curated a network of powerful women who will say, what did you say about yourself? They will call you to the carpet for it. And they surround themselves with the strong women like you're going to see today. This is one of the reasons why I said, please connect with these women. They are far into that journey and they are able to have that hand to say, hey, wait, you know what, let's talk about this. You know, you need to know you control that narrative up here, but they'll call you on it. They'll be your best cheerleaders. Everyone in here is a cheerleader for one another. I've been watching it throughout the entire year. And as you listen to these 2024 honorees today, you're going to see a very common thread with these women. They're going to have all of these characteristics that I just talked about and always there to uplift and inspire. And they know that that's part of why they're here, that that's part of their gift as a wow warrior. So without further ado, we are going to see a short video of all of the honorees. And as I said, not all of them were able to be here today. After that, we're going to um, bring our uh, speakers up to the stage. So
And we are now going to move to our next WOW warrior. That is the infamous, if I want to say that, Crystal Richardson, and she is a global wealth, innovation, and sustainability strategist. She is the creator of, in a, I can't even say it. <laughs> Innovology. <laughs> it's really easy to say. It's just innovology. Okay. But you are an international speaker, <laughs> an author, and I love the word that you use, disruptor, uh, but you are so much more than that. You are just an incredible incredible woman, an incredible human being. Uh, outside of all of those professional things, uh, you are everything heart. So Crystal, thank you for being with us today. I know you're traveling and stuff. So thank you for making time to share with us. Tell us a little bit about you and, and your impact in the world. And uh, you can show us why you are a wow warrior. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, First of all, I would just like to say thank you, Sherry, and I'm just so honored to to be here uh, with you all just for a few moments. And um, I consider this not just an award for me. It's really not for me. It's related to all of the people that have uh, God has allowed to come across my path to have some kind of impact in their life and for them to impact mine. I believe that anything that we do that we can say, wow, isn't about us or shouldn't just be about us. It should be how we align with others in our life. So, so yeah, I'm a global wealth innovation strategist only because of the people who have called upon me uh, to do so and to be so. And so I've been uh, feet on the ground in about 40 different countries doing what I do uh, relation to, to missions and helping people go from creativity to cash flow, and whether that's in genetic research or whether it's it's helping homeless or whether it's speaking to people that are a part of my billionaire alliance that you know have been on some of my shows, radio shows, TV shows, or whether it's a, a single mom. And so it runs the gamut, and, it, and it's only because of of what God has allowed me to to know, uh, and and to have where I continue to 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 be a, a perpetual student of whoever I come across. And so I, I, I can learn as much from a homeless guy as I can from some of the billionaires in my, in my uh, network. So I'm honored to be here and thank you and um, appreciate this opportunity. Oh, thank you so much, Crystal. And uh, can you share, I know you have a community, the W-O-I-I. -I. Can you just share with that? Just because I know some of the women who are here would love to get part of your sunshine. And that's one of the ways that they can do that. Can you just share a little bit about what that community is and how they can be part of it? Yes, yes, I can. So thank you. So it's Women of Impact and Innovation International. So there's three, W-O-I-I-I, -I -I. <laughs> Women of Impact and Innovation International. So the first thing, as I mentioned, you in relation to myself has to do with impact. Uh, I, I am a wealth innovation sustainability strategist from a money and monetization per perspective, but anyone uh, that, that I work with really has to have impact at, as, at their heart, uh, that that should be first. And so that's why that's the first uh, section of the name of Women of Impact and Innovation. So we are all creative. And one of the things that I teach is innovology, uh, the word that I had trademarked, and it has to do with going from creativity to cash flow. We're all moms or aunts or sisters or grandmas or, or, or just have friends of which in any given day, there's something that's not going to go as planned, right? So we have to be creative, whether our, our belt broke or our heel broke, or we turn the wrong way, or we cook something, we didn't have all the ingredients and we're like, oh snap, like, what do I do? We are creative every single day. We can't get on because of technology issues. We're all creative every single day. So I believe that everyone has at least, at least 10 areas. And so I teach element 10, 10 sustainable and substantial streams of income that we all should have at any one time. And that doesn't mean 10 jobs, it means streams of income. And so sometimes we need to be creative doing that. And we can do that internationally. Yes, there is a need for what we do locally uh, and nationally, but also globally, depending on what it is that we're doing. So thus the, the, the word in, um, international. Women of Impact and Innovation International. So um, I've gone places and I have where I take people with me, whether it's on missions trips or from an intellectual perspective, if they wanna be a global speaker, like really a global speaker, feet on the ground. Uh, we have various opportunities related to that. 
and they are in uh, about seven or eight different areas. So we have wealth and investments, we have business and leadership, uh, outreach and mentorship, publishing, marketing, media, like in mindset, mental health, you know, health and wellness. We have all of these different areas where you can shine and be a part of those different committees and really help us to to have where we uplift one another as women, but also raise up the next generation of powerful professional women leaders. And so that's what that's about. And if you love to uplift behind the scenes or in front of the camera, we have a place for you in that organization. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing more about that, because I know that's one of the thing places where where we see you a lot. And I love the fact that uh, you just never know where you're going to see Crystal landing. <laughs> if you follow her, you're like, oh, she's in this country now. Now she's here. right. <laughs> so it's actually a joy to really watch your journey and be part of be part of your world, Crystal. So thank I thank you. you so much. I congratulate you on being a 2024 WOW warrior and being part of our community. It, you are a blessing. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Appreciate that.